was worthy. They say, hey, how could this man do this? Then you can say, you ought to be speaking some things. They're going to say, how are they going to do that? But she said, I'm going to grant a lie. I'm going to take it up where they don't understand what he said. But he said, I'm going to take away the sin of the world. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice my body for you. Yeah. And if you eat of my word, the word that I speak is a lie. And if you eat of my words and apply to your life, you will have eternal life. You will have a life with meaning. You will have a life with purpose. What is life without a purpose? What is your purpose being here? What is life without purpose? It ain't life. If you're not striving for God to know your purpose, and to fulfill your purpose, what is life? The Bible says it's like a vapor. Is here today and gone tomorrow. Are you? Do you have a purpose? Is your purpose to buy what you want to and, and, and spend money, look good, and look pretty, and look handsome, ride in fancy cars?
come in this world with nothing, you leave with nothing. You mean to tell me your purpose was just to come here and buy stuff and leave here without leaving a legacy? Or leaving your mark? You mean your purpose was just to come and not affect nobody in your life? To change nobody's lives? What is your purpose? He said, what? If you don't eat this and drink this blood, oh, he said, if you don't take my word and apply it to your life and allow me to run Jesus, run through your veins and cleanse you and wash you, and I, that you can fulfill your purpose. What is your goal? What's your purpose? What, what, what are you? Oh, oh, we're going to get, I'm going to do this. What, what good is it? It's bad. What's the purpose of you? The purpose of your goal, whole goal, to get a house, live for that life, and then die. That means that life is better. You left nothing behind you that anybody can use. <laughs> God, like I said, the enemy got you focusing on things and stuff when you ought to be focused on fulfilling your purpose so you can leave something behind somebody can use. What are they going to use? The clothes they're going to take to the goodwill if they can't wear them. Your hair they're going to reuse. Your shoes they're going to take and see if they wear them or put them on swap. And they take a picture of you and put it in a book that gather dust. And every now and then they'll take it out and look at it. And say, I remember when. And they'll shut it and throw it back in the Is that how you be remembered? Is that your purpose? Oh, I'm in the wrong way. Oh. Is you teaching somebody something they're going to carry with them the rest of their life? Think they can carry it on to their church? Is sure. you living a life? Jesus still lives. I think he's been going long ago, he still lives.
Hey, God, really. You got to begin to think negatively. That's all I'm saying. Stop thinking just you. Think negatively. Leave something that somebody can get you to live like. And the Bible says if you don't take of this brother and eat of this bread, you won't live. You'll have no life. And what do you mean you have no life? You have no life with purpose. Hey God, Jesus wants us to have life with what? Purpose. Living every day, doing all this without a purpose. You got to have a purpose. And when you don't have a purpose, the enemy torments you. What are you doing? Why are you here? What are you Because you have no goals and a purpose. Everything you do, you should have a purpose. The reason why you do what you do. Cause and effect. It always affects something else. Future. Everything you do, cause and effect. You say, well, my life doing that? What you did, cause it to happen like this. If you would have did it differently, it wouldn't have happened like this. Stop blaming folk for stuff you do cause cause to happen and it's to affect you here. The Bible declares you reap what you sow. It's time to sow some great stuff. It's time to do great stuff. It's time to work for the Lord and do the Lord's work and think about God more than you do yourself. Y'all in the house? Y'all with me? Amen. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say glory to God. Glory to God. They didn't understand and a lot of us don't understand what Jesus was saying. The letter killing and the spirit in life. And when you don't understand the revelation, I was talking about Jesus is the one. He went through some of the same thing that you and I encountered. They didn't believe in it. They didn't believe who he was. Guess what? They don't believe in you. And they don't believe who you are. Because maybe where you come from, or what your past did, what you've done, where you've been, they don't believe in you. But God said, I will prosper you. I will elevate you. But you got to apply my blood and my word. And I do it. You got to apply the blood to wash you out of stuff. You got to have the blood to wash you because you done it now. You done it. You done it. Look at your name. Don't say it. And you need the word. So once he commands you, you apply to him. And that's your law. Those are your principles. This is how you live. This is what you do. And this is why you do it. You've got to apply God's principles. Now, if you say I do it, well, that's not in God's word, that's not God's principles. You acting out of your character that Christ Jesus is giving you to act out of. Because you're not acting according to the word. You're not eating the bread. And if you ate it, you're not getting the nutrition out of it. Because you're still acting like you want to. So you have your life is messed up. Because if you was eating the word and allowed to go inside you, you'd be acting like who? Christ. But when you don't act like Christ, and you act like that means you eat something, it is going to break right into your belly and come out your mouth. Without bringing you no change. No nutrition. No muscles. Spiritual muscles. So life 
is hard. It is unique in this world. And ain't no change coming over. Because you got to apply the word in order for the word to work through you. It don't just work through you as you heard it. You got to apply it. Y'all now? Put your hand together and give God some praise. Ain't God good? Say hallelujah to you. That was a good stuff, wasn't it? I didn't come I wanted to shout, jump up and down and everything. They had the stuff. I was all that today, but I, I guess the Holy Spirit had something in mind. We got it lined up. Uh, we want to build. How many want to build church? How many want to build church? Raise your hands so I can see you. All right, let me just see you. Make sure y'all. Because y'all got it. Oh, you don't want to build? Okay. I don't want to call you no more. Uh, don't call me to pray for you no more. Sabrina, what's your name? Praise God, I got good. Tell him what you caught me. Bring it. Oh, God. Shoot my camera up, ladies.